Okay, I've arrived in the Zara Moselle Triangle. As you can see, and behind me is what is uh, called Pillinger Hof, and this was the um, uh, the farm where the 302nd Infantry had their hash house or their rest place for soldiers of the 302nd Infantry, and uh, from here you can uh, very easily. Uh, get to the town of Bork and if you follow the road towards Moselle uh, you go directly into Pearl. So I will see if I can um, find someone over there and ask them if, uh, if I'm allowed to film a little on the premises. Okay, so I am at the Pillinger Hof. I just had a conversation with the current owner and he told me that uh, when the Americans first came to this place late 1944, the owner at the time, he, he just ran out the house. Uh, he told me some uh, incredible stories, showed me some um, uh, pictures of um, inhabitants of the Pillinger Hof that he was able to um, receive from one of the family members who, uh, who lived here and uh, it's, it's an amazing place. Uh, the interior still looks as, um, as if you walk back in history and uh, he showed me doors uh, of which I took photographs um, and uh, US troops that were here in uh, January 1945 when they used the Pillinger Hof as a rest area they cut away parts of the door to be able to pull their telephone wire through so that's amazing to have seen in, uh, in the house Okay, this is the old entrance to the house and it has been expanded in the uh, 20s and early 30s into um, the complex it is nowadays. It was relatively undamaged during the war because of the fact that it is situated in between hills. So it's really in a gully and it's, it's relatively sheltered uh, from US and German artillery. So that made this location ideal to uh, give US troops some rest when they were taken off the front lines. And this is also the place from where the 302nd Infantry uh, marched up to Borg, which is in that direction. And then from there, they attacked the Kampholz Woods.